prepared mama on preparing the homestead for winter. Uh, one of our last pantry chats. Yeah. Could I cover my dirt in my garden with hay for the winter? I'm in Utah at about 6,800 feet. <sighs> you just said the word. I'm sorry, Mary. No, pre prepared mama. The word? You, you said the trigger word for Josh, which is dirt. Oh, I was going to overlook that. <laughs> you were, you were overlooking like, yeah, that. That's very good. That's well, good. Some people have to start with dirt. Hopefully you're building soil. Dirt is dead. <laughs> so that's an inside joke there. That, but that is true. The dirt is dead. Dirt, you, hopefully you don't have uh, dirt for garden soil. But if you do, you just, you're building, you want to turn that dirt into soil. Soil has living organisms in it. And that is what is, is essential. Industrial farming, farm and dirt. They look at dirt as just a structure and then they, they give all the external synthetic inputs. Um, but we want to build soil. So, but by mulching, which is essentially what you're talking about there and putting that hay down, you are, you know, hopefully converting your dirt to soil. And uh, yes, you can do that with the hay. I recommend be careful about the seed heads that are in it. If it's hay that matured with seed heads in it, you're going to be planting a lot of hay seed in your vegetable garden. And you probably don't want that. Um, so you do have to be careful with that on hay. Otherwise, it's 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 a good mulch. So if it was harvested at the right time, that is great. Now, if you're mulching like that and you are dealing with, uh, well, you should be amending your soil no matter what anyways every year. So put down some compost. If you are you know gardening on dirt and really needing to build it up, put down a lot of compost and any amendments uh, and then mulch. And uh, as much as you can put on six to eight inches, but if you've got two or three inches worth, that's better than nothing. Yeah, it's certainly a great way to put that uh, garden to bed for the winter. I should really change this bit. <laughs> so I know straw has a lot of concerns about chemicals in it. Mm -hmm. um, and I do believe hay has quite a few. Hay does. And this is becoming a bigger and bigger challenge. We're finding that um, more and more of these broadleaf herbicides are getting sprayed. And the hay, the grasses can survive it. Um, but broadleaf vegetables can't, which most of what we're growing in the garden are, are considered broadleaf vegetables. And so you do need to really, really be careful with your hay in that case. And make sure that it is not sprayed. It doesn't have to be organic, but it needs to be not sprayed. So with anything, you got to know your source. You got to know if they're trustworthy. A lot of people say, yeah, 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 no, it's not sprayed. Um, you you got to have confidence in that. And and so hopefully you've got a good referral or you know your hay farmer or you can pull some references or, or something uh, to verify that a little bit. So glad you brought that out because that, that is becoming more and more of a problem for people. Yeah. It really just depends on the region that you live in. Um, but if you're just buying it, like if you're buying hay to mulch with, one, that's a little expensive way to mulch, but if that's what you can do, great. Just, you know, know the source, make sure somebody can confirm to you that that has not been sprayed with any of the broadleaf herbicides.